Michelle and I have been so touched by the warm welcome that we have received from people, emails, letters, phone calls, personal visits, from faculty, staff, students, the Mount Vernon community. And we know that we are extremely excited to make the Cornell community and Mount Vernon our home. Last night, for example, Rochelle and I had dinner with Les and Katrina Garner, and we left propelled further into the stratosphere that this was just going to be a wonderful place to, for us to be. And we're so proud and honored to be following them and their successful presidency. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank so many people who have gotten Rochelle and me to this point. I'm so thankful to John Smith, the current board chair, and his wife, Diane Smith, and to John McGrain and his wife, Marty McGrain, and it's through them that we, we have felt connected to Cornell, ever more connected to Cornell, and more connected to the faculty and the staff and the students and the trustees and the mission of this school. We are so thankful to the search committee, faculty, and the trustees who are taking the time to talk to us about Cornell College, to the faculty, the students, and the staff with whom we met during the search process, and of course also to all those uh, who've had a chance to communicate with us afterwards. And of course, a special thanks to Jim Brown, President Jim Brown, and the senior staff. I want you to know that Rochelle and I are coming here. Our motivation has been entirely solidified by each and every one of you during the, who have taken the time to interact and to care for us over the, over the, the last six, seven months. Now, I have to tell you, this is not long after the search process concluded that I received a package. Now, for the students who are here, you will learn that not all mail is good mail. Letters, while they may seem good now, later on you'll see they're not always good, they're often bills. <laughs> packages are always good. So, Dean Retro has sent me a package, and in it she included some vital reading. She sent to me Cornell College Assessment Centennial History, of course, the first tome. The Old Testament, written by Bill, Bill Haywood, and the second tome by Richard Thomas, as well as Charles Milhauser's Cornell College Assessed the Centennial 150 Years from A to Z. And with it, a note that she sent to me that said, Jonathan, just in case you don't have anything to do for the holidays, happy reading. <laughs> and, or at least that's how I recall it. So I read those books, and I have to tell you that the second I completed them, I was so completely humbled by the invitation to come to Cornell College. This is a school that has more than earned its reputation as a national liberal arts college, one that has always been passionately student-focused, one that has always been progressive and forward-looking, and one which has always aspired to excellence. Ferry Center, Dimensions, the P-Law Program, Cornell Fellows Program, the Center for Teaching and Learning, the Plan Chicago Center, the pursuit of an eight block that's moving forward, the continued expansion of off-campus study and student faculty research, to me those are all indications of Cornell's continued progress. The completion of a hundred point eight million dollar campaign during an economically challenging period, the largest of any private national liberal arts college in Iowa, strong and continued growth in student enrollment. To my way of thinking, this continuation, the continuation of this tradition of excellence will require courageous leadership from all of us. Now speaking of courageous leadership, I do have one point I'd like to make, an announcement that I think is very important from my perspective and I think for all of us, which is Jim Brown has graciously agreed to stay on as the special assistant to the president next year and into the future. And I hope you will join me in thanking and recognizing Jim Brown. I have one primary commitment to the students who are here. You are Cornell's raison d'etre. You are the reason why everyone is here. I and Rochelle, we look forward to getting to know you. We look forward to supporting and celebrating your hard work, your achievements, your successes. And to the entire Cornell community, to the students, to the faculty, to the staff, to the trustees, 
to alumni and to the Mount Vernon community. I will work tirelessly on your behalf. I will devote every last ounce of myself to Plymouth College. I will expect the best from myself and from others. And I won't stop until we achieve that. I will listen and learn from each and every one of you. I will, in full life and respect, share governance. I recognize the multiple pressing responsibilities on faculty, teaching, research, advising, mentoring, just to name a few, and to the ways that staff contribute to the education of each and every student. I will honor your many roles and responsibilities. I promise that when I make a mistake, I will own it and I will learn from it and I will surely make mistakes. And I promise that I will champion Cornell College and its distinctiveness in every setting, nationally, internationally, within the higher education community. I would like to communicate one particular message to our to the Cornell alumni who are either here or watching in the four corners of the United States or even abroad. I look forward to meeting and learning from each and every one of you. I know, having spoken to several of you already, how transformative your time at Cornell has been, not only influenced by faculty, but by the staff who were also here for you. I wish to thank you for having helped Cornell exceed $105 million through the Extraordinary Opportunities Campaign. That is a spectacular result. My message to you is, and I think you know this already, that you are as important to this college, to its present and to its future, as much as you are to its past. We have more work to do, there's no doubt, and we will need Arnell's alumni right there and their continued support. Rochelle and I are just simply delighted to be here. Wish to thank you. We look forward to writing Cornell's next chapter with you. We're very much looking forward to July and having time with each and every one of you. Thank you.